So on a lighter note, <laughs> on a lighter note, I'm going to tell you a story. It's called The Plastics Revolution. Okay, so my daddy used to say, plastic's here to stay. It's the best thing they made since sliced bread. Sliced bread. My mama wasn't so sure. When our crockery went out the door and everything in the house was light and bright, it was a plastics revolution. We had pink cups, red jugs, yellow plates, orange bowls, and lots of them were multicolored too. But we thought that it was fun when my brother, he could run and we could catch the plate as it flew across the sky, just like a frisbee. It was a plastics revolution. But the marrow on the bone from my mother's oxtail stew stuck to those plates like some adhesive glue. And my daddy had a fight with his boss one drunken night and he was sent packing out the door. So he found another job, working like a slob, on a tugboat floating out to sea. He didn't smell of fish, but of every other dish that the cooks made for the tourists on the ships. But my mother didn't mind because of the things that he would find when the sailors threw out the good with the bad. Things came down the chute when the liner it would toot and the tugboat would clear away the trash. Now our plastics were replaced with heavy china plates from every cruise ship that sailed upon the sport, from the P&O lines and the shore civil line and Royal Britannia sailing on the waves. Now it seemed to me to be a funny irony that those plastic plates now float upon the sea while the trash my daddy saved have made a lot of cash for the antique dealers of the day. So our plastics revolution came and went real fast. And even Dad agreed that the best solution was that China, it was China, it was made to last, while the plastics revolution now floats upon the sea. Yes, the plastic revolution is floating out to sea. Hey, you that from Marilyn. She comes on Tomorrow Nui every month to be with you.